So hello YouTube, what I have in front of me is HP's Elite Book and I believe this is 850 Generation 5. Yep, 850 Generation 5. Now I will be replacing motherboard on this one, but I'll be showing you how to change thermal paste and clean it because well, it is uh, in the middle of the process of removing the motherboard. So let's start. First of all, I'll need this and uh, yeah, so basically you need generic screwdriver. This one is actually quite easy to disassemble. So four, five, six, seven, eight screws and there are two screws in here which are black. So that one as well. And you'll need a prying tool to insert that let's say somewhere in here. And basically just pull this thing up. That easy. Okay. Be careful because these screws might uh, jump out. Basically, now what you need to do is remove, disconnect the battery because that is always the same thing to do. And I will be removing the RAM now. So 16 gigs, nice. This is the uh, SSD. So, uh, first of all, disconnect the fan, which is uh, this thing over here. So just press it to the right. And there are, uh, I believe, two screws, yes, holding the fan. So here we have one, here we have another. And I believe that's actually it. I might be wrong. Let's see. Okay. Okay, two. You know what? Uh, I'll remove even these four screws from the uh, processor itself. So uh, let's try to pull this thing up. Okay. So there you have it. These are the grills. You'll need to remove uh, the keyboard to remove the fan if you wish to well clean it. Now you can use uh, compressed air or maybe some kind of blower to clean this thing uh, because well otherwise you'll have to uh, remove the keyboard. So uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, Let's remove the keyboard as well. To remove the keyboard, there are a couple of screws which are marked with uh, KB. So one is in here and there should be one more at least. So there is one in here as well also with KB. And uh, I think that's actually it. So let's unscrew these two. Okay, they are of the same size, these ones. There is a notch in here which you just need to press and the keyboard will pop out on the other side and now you can press another notch as well and there you have it the keyboard is basically removed i'm not quite sure whether there is a screw in here and it might be yes there is one in here and it is also labeled keyboard do not touch the motherboard with your fingers that is always a bad idea. And now I can actually remove the keyboard and pull this thing up. This one, and press it. Another one also pull up and pull it to the left side. And this one pull up and to the left side. And now you can actually remove the fan. So these three screws. But uh, I think that I actually do not need to uh, remove the fan. However, I do need to remove the other screws because they're holding the motherboard. So yeah, it is a bit, I guess a bit more complicated than I have expected, but not that much. Okay, and this one as well. So three screws from the top side. To completely remove the motherboard you have to follow the, uh, well, arrows. Whatever the arrows are, you need to unscrew that. So this one, as you can see, you have this part which you move up. And it's basically very easy. Now what you would do is just remove uh, well every flat cable there is and I'll need to remove Wi-Fi card as well. There are actually tons of screws in here. Also this is for the display. Yeah, this one is broken. Well, it was opened by somebody but... Now let's see one more screw in here. One screw in here and one, two, three, four, five screws in here. Yeah. 
and there's a ton of thermal paste and I also need to remove the SSD itself okay and this should be it I think and there is one screw in underneath this damn plastic okay yes and now I can safely remove the motherboard and that's pretty much it this is the motherboard so uh, I actually have spanking new one so uh, let's install that one eternity later let's hook up the power supply and let's see whether this thing actually has an LED that indicates charging yeah, no LED whatsoever let's try to turn it on oh it is turning on so let's see whether the display will show up something or not it is turning on it is lit up however it might do a couple of uh, resets since uh, it is the new motherboard okay it's turning on again there you go it is on and I'm not quite sure whether we actually have yeah okay memory size error yes enter we have installed new memory well new memory new motherboard so mm. now let's see yeah actually we do have an operating system installed awesome <laughs> so uh, yeah cool yeah so there you have it I hope you liked this video if you did please click thumbs up if you did not you know what to do if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask and uh, well until the next time cheers